Good morning, this is Oliver K6 OLI, and I'm going to walk you through how to generate an ICS 309 for CSV and spreadsheet use and how to open it with a spreadsheet. All right, first let's generate the ICS 309. We'll go to message in WinLink. We go to generate ICS 309 communications log. Today, because we have items in our red items here, we could also use the send items. But today we're just going to use the red items folder. You can, of course, use the inbox, outbox, drafts. You can use any combination of these. You can use your personal folders to be exported, really useful for exercises. You can select the message date range. In this case, we want to have everything that's in the red items. So we're not going to check this, but if you have events, actually really useful to select a specific range so we highly recommend that for the page layout we'll just go with separate entry for each recipient that sounds good um, format of dates you can select what works for you in my case i like year month date that's always a little bit easier for computers to deal with and then the task id um, let's just call this ics 309 demo um, task name, operational period, operator name, all of this will be filled in um, during events. But for this demonstration, we'll just keep it easy and use task ID. Output file. You do want to select a folder where you can find it. it could be a downloads folder. In this case, I put a folder on my desktop and I just told the software where to find that. And you can browse to that particular folder. It is important that you fill in a meaningful name for your soft uh, for your file here in this case this is for the pdf only so we could do the ics 309 demo pdf if you want to pass this on to somebody at an agency or somebody you're working with let's just generate this ics 309 very nice probably should add a date to this if you forget something super easy 2021 let's say 09 and i don't know 16 and we can generate another ICS 309, and that will now have the date. Mind you that this is your path, so keep that in mind. Take a look at that path so you can find it. But we want to generate a CSV file that we can use with spreadsheets. So we go to Generate CSV. By default, message ID is not checked. We highly recommend that you check the message ID. It makes it easier to trace messages up to 21 days in the radio message viewer on the WinLink website. The other things that you should check are the time, the from, the to, the subject. Um, the others are optional. Some agencies like to have a confirmation when a message was acknowledged, so you can check that or uncheck that. Um, generally, we don't use it, Aries LX acknowledgments. We do that manually or in voice. But different organizations have different requirements so keep that in mind next you want to choose how you're going to limit uh, to delimit the data in most cases you will want to use commas but you can certainly use tabs it's very practical in some applications let's go with commas just select the radio button csv output file just like the pdf what you want to do is to put in a good name for this. In this case, ICS 309. This is the demo. I'm backing up or I'm outputting the red folder and we can put the date in here again, just because. And then make sure you have CSV in the attachment. You could use text, but CSV makes our life a little bit easier. And then all we have to do is generate CSV file. One more thing, you can certainly browse there so you don't have to manually enter that browse there and give this um, the name that you want. This is something you need to type out. Everything else you can browse to. All right, let's generate that CSV file. And you see how quick that was. Again, it gives us the address right here. Make note of that address so you can find it afterwards. Click OK, click Exit. Don't need this anymore, go to Exit. Next, we're going to open our spreadsheet software. It works with all spreadsheets, whether you use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets or uh, many of the other spreadsheet alternatives out there. We like to use LibreOffice. It's free, it's easy to use, and that's pretty much everything that amateur radio operators need to do in the field. In this case, let's go to open. And we're actually already in that folder. Remember WinLink demos, that was the uh, folder I set up on the desktop. 
And there's our file. There's the original file. Well, then we output the PDF. Then we added the date to that. And this is, of course, our CSV file. So we want to make sure that file name shows our CSV file here. If it doesn't, make sure that here all files is selected. Makes it easier to find. And next, click Open. All right, a couple of things. One, in this case, because I've used it previously with a comma, that's already checked. It may not be checked when you open this. So it could be tab that's checked. And one of the nice things about LibreOffice and its equivalent OpenOffice is it tells you, gives you a preview of the output. Right now, we can see if we imported this, it would all go into one um, column. And that's not what we want. But we know this is comma separated. So we can actually click on the comma, we can unclick the tab if you want to, we can click on the comma here, and it actually gives us these nice columns. You see that? Perfect. That's really all we need to do. Um, I would make sure that your character set is Unicode UTF-8. It's kind of a standard, not all software defaults to that. Um, some of them default to Western Europe, you need to agree to that within your group. That'll make your life a lot easier. But that's all we need to do so far. We've got our comma set. We see our columns are nice and lined up. Can you scroll over there? All right. Click OK. And there you have it. So it's nicely um, input. We can actually use all kinds of um, data analytics with that if we want to, or we can print it up really neatly. We can lock the first row so when we scroll that row stays, but that's information for another time. And that's all, all I wanted to show you today for importing CSVs generated by the ICS309. Thank you so much. 73 stall K6OLI.